Hi, my name is Milan and in today's video we're going to be talking about code quality and how you can enforce it using static code analysis. I'm going to introduce you to the code analyzers that are natively available in .NET and also some NuGet packages that you can add to your project to introduce additional static code analyzers to your solution. A common problem when working in a team environment is enforcing consistent code style across a solution while maintaining code quality. One tool that you have at your disposal in a .NET project is the editor config file. Inside of an editor config file, you can predefine code style rules that you want to enforce inside of your .NET project. If you define the editor config as a solution level item, like I did in this example, it's going to apply to every project inside of your solution, and this is something that you generally want. Inside of an editor config file, you can define things like indentation and spacing, new line preferences, and then the most important thing is you can define .NET coding conventions. There are many coding conventions that you can define, such as preferring expression body members. You can define naming conventions, null check preferences, modifier preferences, and so on. Another tool that you have at your disposal is static code analysis. There are code analyzers that natively come with the latest versions of .NET, but I want to introduce you to two additional NuGet packages that you can add to your projects to introduce additional static code analyzers. So let's take the domain project for example, and I'm going to install some new NuGet packages. The first one that I want is StyleCop. So I'm going to search for StyleCop. The one that I'm going to install is the StyleCop Analyzers NuGet package. And I'm even going to install the pre-release version, but you can go ahead and install the latest table version if you want to. So let me install StyleCop, and then I'm going to show you the next NuGet package that we're going to add. Now I'm going to search for Sonar Analyzer. And the NuGet package that I want to install is the Sonar Analyzer c -sharp NuGet package. So I'm going to go ahead and install that one as well. And with these two NuGet packages installed, we're going to have additional static code analyzers that are going to run on the domain project. So let me try to build the domain project and I'm going to show you what's going on. If I take a look at the output window when I build the domain project, you can see that I suddenly have a lot of warnings that are coming up. I'm going to switch to the error list window to make this more explicit. You can see that we have 34 warnings that have now popped up when we added the new NuGet packages. What you see here is a lot of rules that are being enforced by static code analysis. You can see the code for the specific rule that you have broken and you have a short description explaining what exactly is wrong. These types of warnings are of little use to us if nobody pays attention to them. So there's a way to enforce to treat warnings as errors. I'm going to add a new property inside of this property group. The property that we want to add is the treat warnings as errors property. So I'm going to go ahead and add it. And we want to give it a value of true so that we can actually enforce treating warnings as errors. So I'm going to apply this change and I'm going to build the domain project again and we're going to take a look at what's going on now. So now if you take a look at the output window, you can see that suddenly instead of warnings that we had a moment ago, we have errors and our build is actually failing. This is generally a good thing because now you get instant feedback when you write code that does not pass code quality checks that you want to enforce in your solution. Another benefit is that your build pipelines are going to crash if you commit a piece of code that does not pass a code quality check. So this makes it very easy to enforce code quality across your entire team with static code analysis. Some of these static code analyzers are very opinionated and I don't personally agree with every rule that they recommend that I should follow. So I like to be able to turn off certain rules to reduce the noise in my projects. Let's take this rule as the example. The code for this rule is SA1518 and it says that the file is required to end with a single new line character. The fix for this is very simple. You just add a new line here 
and this rule is no longer going to appear but what if you wanted to actually not have an empty line at the end of each file if I revert the change the code analyzer is going to show an error again so how do I turn off this rule if I need to there's a very simple way to do this you can click show potential fixes and then you want to configure the severity of this specific rule and you can say none, silent, suggestion, warning or error if you want to turn this rule off completely you have to click none and if your editor config file is open at the same time you'll see that it's going to receive a change if I navigate back to my editor config file you can see that I have a new change here which was added by that configuration of the severity rule and it has added the code for this rule this one is from style cop analyzers and it sets the severity for that rule to none I like to keep all my static code analysis rules in a specific place inside of my editor config so at the bottom I have a section for every static code analyzer that I want to configure this is the section for style cop analyzers the one that we just configured was 1518 so I place it right here because I like to sort them that way it's much easier to keep track of what rules you have configured as you can see I already have a bunch of rules configured here both for style cop analyzers and also sonar analyzers there's additional .NET code analyzers that are natively available and they have a CA error code at the start that's how you can know them and then there's additional rules enforced by Visual Studio which have a prefix of IDE in their error code I leave this up to you to decide which of the rules you want to turn on or off it's best to come up with a convention that fits your specific project and then just enforce it through the editor config file I want to touch on one more thing that could seem problematic and that's the fact that we are adding these static code analyzers as NuGet packages it's not uncommon for a .NET solution to contain a large number of projects I've personally worked on solutions that contain between 50 and 100 projects and I'm sure there are solutions out there that have even more projects than that so it's going to be very cumbersome to go into each project and add these two NuGet packages so wouldn't it be great if there was a way to add these NuGet packages to all of the projects inside of the solution of course there is a way to do this and I'm going to add a new solution item and I'm going to show you how we're going to use this to introduce NuGet packages across all projects inside of a solution I'm going to add a file to our solution that is called directory.build.props this is an XML file and I'm going to paste in some configuration inside of it and as you can see what I'm doing here is I'm adding the NuGet packages for style cop and sonar analyzers and I'm also enforcing some project level settings such as treat warnings as errors that we had earlier inside of the domain project what this is going to do is it's going to apply this property group to every csproj file inside of your solution and it's also going to install these NuGet packages to all of your projects inside of your solution so this is a simple way to enforce static code analysis across all of your projects these NuGet packages here are going to be in conflict with the ones that we added inside of the domain project just a moment ago so you're going to have to remove them and I'm also going to remove the treat warnings as error setting and we're going to leave the domain project in the same state that we found it but we're going to enforce the static code analysis using the directory build props file so let's try to build the domain project again and see what's going on you can see that the build failed again which means our directory build props is working this is a great way to enforce code style and code quality across your entire team and it works inside of build pipelines which really shortens your feedback loop when any bad code is committed to the repository I hope that you enjoyed this video about enforcing code quality with static code analyzers so make sure that you smash that like button on your way out and also subscribe to my youtube channel so that you don't miss any of my future videos until next time stay awesome